Well, now, what was this? What does that warm-up question have to do with this previous issue we were talking about about finding instantaneous rate of change? Well, the answer is that we first have to adopt a little bit of language to be able to tackle that problem. Remember, we saw that zero over zero thing, which, as I mentioned, avoid. So we need to develop a little bit of language so we can speak the, the, the words of mathematics. And so, and so I thought what we do first is actually go on location. Right now we're going to leave the studio. And I'm going to actually show you, try to inspire, what we're about to think about. So join me right now, OK? Well, here we are on location at the ATM machine, one of my favorite places. And the really neat thing about the ATM machine is that all you have to do is put in your account number. And you can actually find out how much money you have in your account. And the neat thing is, all it has is my account number. It goes off, and it's like a little machine that goes off and looks something up, and it spits out the one unique answer, the one unique answer of how much money I have in my account. Let's see what gets spit out. So here I have exactly how much money is in my account, or how much money there should be in my account. Anyway, the point is that just Putting in as input my account number, I can find out exactly how much money I have in my account. Where does this lead us mathematically? Let's go back to the studio and find out. I'll see you there. Bye. OK. Well, I hope you enjoyed the little ATM adventure. And the point of that, of course, was that the ATM machine is sort of interesting in that it takes in your account number and it spits out a unique number, and that number represents how much money you have, hopefully, in your, in your account. Now, that actually is an example of a math idea, which is called a function. Now, I know you've, you've heard of a function before, but I just wanted to remind you of this, because that really is the language of this course. So this is sort of now like a little mini French or German or Russian kind of uh, vignette here, because we're going to now learn the language of mathematics. And the language of mathematics is functions. Now, so what's a function? Well, basically, the idea of a function is just like we saw at the ATM. We put a piece of information in, and the function's like a little machine that takes it, massages it, generates it, throws it around, boom, 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 boom. But at the end of the day, ding, one thing gets spit out, and that one thing is basically the result of the function. So you can think of the function like this. You could think of the function as a sort of mysterious machine. You know, remember, we are on the web, folks. So you know, we got to sort of talk about technology as much as we can. So, so here is the function. And I'll call it f for function. I'm just calling it f for function. It's the machine. The machine is this. And you put something in. So you put something in. Like, let me put in something. I'll call it just x, for lack of a more creative name. You put that into the machine. And it rattles around in there. And ding, da ding, da ding, da ding. And what happens at the end of the day, bing, out comes the answer.